Welcome back YouTube. Today we're going to make a classic French baguette. That's right. Beautiful for sandwiches, garlic bread, anything you want to put inside. Crisp on the outside and gorgeous in the middle. There's nothing better than a French baguette fresh out the oven. So stick with me. I'll show you all the tips and tricks and how to do it. But don't be intimidated. Right, let's go. Start with 120 grams of all-purpose flour. This is the poulish, the preferment. A pinch of yeast, 0.03 if you want to be precise, and then 113 grams of water. Mix this up just like this. Keep going, put a bit of elbow grease into it until it's nice and sticky like that. And then all you're gonna do is just cover this with cling film and leave it overnight on your kitchen counter. That's it. 16, 18 hours, but that is a poulish. The next day it should look like this. Have a look at the bubbles. It's starting to ferment. It's got a nice gluten structure and smells delicious. Scrape all of the poolish into your stand mixer. You could do this in a bowl and by hand, but well, if you got it, use it. 255 grams of lukewarm water next, and then put in 12 grams of salt. I've used kosher here. And then we're gonna put in 420 grams of all-purpose flour, unbleached. And then finish that with nine grams of instant yeast. Now we're gonna mix this on a kind of low to medium setting for about five minutes. Now you're gonna want this dough to be a little sticky like this. After five minutes, check it. And you see how it's sticking there like that when I pinch it? That is perfect. I'm gonna spray some cooking spray into a bowl, set that aside, and then I'm gonna take the dough and we're gonna put it out to a lightly floured surface. We're just gonna gently knead this. Nothing crazy. You can just fold the corners in, use the palm of your hand, Roll this into a rough ball like this. Nothing too crazy, just, you know, give it a nice little pat like that. We're gonna lift this up and we're gonna put this into our grease bowl. Cover this with a cloth, tea towel, and let this proof for about 40 minutes at room temperature. We had a heat wave here in Canada, so this happened in like about 25, 30 minutes. Anyway, yours should be about 40 minutes. After that, it looks like this. Degas it by pulling and folding like I'm doing here. Work your way around the dough stretch it and fold it into itself. This is building tensile strength into your final dough. Then flip that over like this. Don't worry about your fingerprints. Tuck it in gently, read a little bedtime story, and then we're gonna proof it again for another 40 minutes. Okay, after your second proof, the dough should look like this. It's gonna be nice and puffy. Lightly flour your work surface, and then we're gonna put a little bit of flour on top of the dough like this as well. This is just gonna help it when we flip it out. So just a little bit, there you go, nothing too crazy. A little bit more gold then and just flip it out in one go like this. If you've got any flour on the bottom of your bowl like this, just scrape it off. Now what we're gonna do is flatten and degas the dough. Flatten it out gently and divide it into three. I went with about 190 to about 205 grams per baguette, anything like that. If there's any bits over, under, you can just chop off and put them on like this. So what we wanna do is shape this into a log to help us roll the baguettes. Fold over one half like this, Pat that in with your hands, fold in the other half, and start from the bottom and then just roll it up. You can tuck in the sides as well, just roll it over, get a nice log shape and repeat the process with the other two pieces of dough. This first shaping is really gonna help us when it comes time to rolling out the baguettes. Oh, nice little bubble there, give that a little pop as well as you go. So just like before, flatten it out, fold over one half, fold over the other half, push that in, roll her up, and there you go. Okay, once all three are done, set them aside, put a cloth on there and let that rest for 10 minutes. We're just trying to let the gluten relax and this is gonna help us when it comes to rolling out the baguettes. Next, flour your couche. This helps with the shaping. It's basically a piece of linen. If you don't have that, you could use a cloth or even a clean pillowcase. Now we're gonna take one of our rolls and I'm gonna show you how to roll this into a baguette. Gently flatten out one of the logs. Use the palm of your hands as well. Just go along like this. Any bubbles, just push them in. Start with the top, fold that over, not quite halfway. Push this in with the palm of your hand, or you can use your fingertips. I'll show you the other way here. You can just see it there. Then take the other half and fold that over as well. Now push that seam together. You can use your fingertips again, or like the palm of your hand, just like this. And then starting from the top, fold over the dough. Use your thumb like this, and we're gonna seal in the seam. Just take your time. You don't need to go super fast and then go along, push that seam in with your fingertips, and then just use the palm of your hand as well just to flatten the whole thing together. And that's your basic kind of starting point. So you can see it, I'm just using the heel of my hand there. Flip that over seam side down, start from the middle, and roll to the diameter that you want. And then when you get to the ends of the dough, you just use your fingertips and that will shape out and give you that kind of pointiness that you get with a baguette. Don't worry if they're not perfect, because the more you do this, the better you will get. And there you have your basic baguette all done for you.
Now what you're going to do is you're going to put this into the couche seam side up. See, I've already got one in there like that. And then pinch and make a fold with the cloth and then pull it tight so that this will help it when it's shaping. And then what I'll do is I'll just put a bit of extra flour on that other side as well. I'll slide this across and then I'm going to move on to the next one. You don't want too much flour on your work surface when you're rolling these out, otherwise it is not gonna help you. Okay, so just like before, we fold over one half, fold over the other half, pinch it, press it in together, use the palm of our hands to flatten out any air bubbles, and then we're gonna just fold over from the top into the middle, using our thumb as a, as a guide basically to push into it, and then we're gonna seal it with our other fingers, just like we did with the other one, just like that. Use your fingertips and then the palm of your hands, go along flatten that out you know you don't want to be too crazy here and then put it seam side down and then just roll it you see there's not much flour on my work surface this is easier on wood by the way um, using these kind of quartz countertops makes it a lot harder trust me then roll out into the middle get to the ends and there you have it you've got your nice little baguette seam side up put it into the couche cover this with the other side and we're going to let this proof for about 45 minutes to an hour you could use a cloth as well if you don't have a couche just make sure it's floured so it doesn't stick. When we bake these, we want some steam. So what you're gonna want is an oven tray like this, and we're gonna pour boiling water into it, which will create steam when the time is ready. After the final proof, you're gonna know they're done when you press them and they gently spring back like this. Can you see that? Oh yeah, these are perfect. Now we're gonna need a peel to transfer these across, which is basically like a plank of wood. If you do not have one of these, like me, you can just use a cardboard box works perfectly fine. So all we're going to do is we're going to transfer this seam side up onto the peel like that. So you can see there's the seam at the top. And then we're going to flip that seam side down onto our baking sheet that is lined with some parchment paper, just like this. Don't worry if they bend or go in at a different angle. You can straighten them up with your fingertips. Just be gentle with them. Now we're going to need a lame, which is basically a razor plate on a stick, but you could use a sharp knife. And we're going to cut at about a 45 degree angle, not straight down like I just showed you there, but basically at a 45 degree angle. I'll flip this round to the side to show you, which makes it a little bit more difficult for me. But basically, just like this, go in at a 45 degree angle and just be confident. Just go with straight cuts. Don't worry. Don't go too deep, but just be decisive. You can go over any of the cuts as well if you need to. Don't worry. So we're going to bake these in a hot oven at 460 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm pouring in my water first five minutes before they go in create a bit of steam. I've got a steam setting on this oven so it makes it a little bit easier. Put your baguettes into the oven and then you're going to need a spray bottle and give this a really good spraying on top of the baguettes and all around the oven. The steam that is generated is what helps you with crust and color. After about 28-30 minutes it should look like this. Golden, crispy, smelling, phenomenal. Just take a look at these bad boys. Nicely cooked all the way through, really nice. Now you can let these cool down before you make anything with them, but it is really hard to not eat a baguette fresh out the oven. So I am going to cut one open. You can just listen and see how crispy that is. Let's have a look at inside of one of these. You can just see the inside of this light, airy, absolutely a beautiful baguette that you can make at home. It would be rude not to put a bit of grass fed butter on this while it is hot out of the oven and give it a cheeky little taste. Plenty crispy indeed. There we go, my friends. Beautiful, nice baguettes. Don't be scared. Give them a go. They smell amazing. Listen to that. They've got that nice crunch. The only thing left to do is cut one open. So you can see that. Very nice, running all the way through. Beautiful aeration. Absolutely gorgeous. Put a bit of butter on that. And you are done, my son. It will taste. Really nice crust. Beautiful chew. Mm. Right amount of salt too. This is awesome. The more you do, the more practice you will have, the better you will get. And it doesn't matter if they're not perfect because the flavor is there. Mm. Right. Time to make some sandwiches with this. See you on the next one.